scrambled, poached, or over easy. There are so many ways to enjoy them, and so few of us who don't love freshly prepared eggs in the morning. But all the labels on egg cartons these days can be confusing, from cage-free to free-range. What is the difference? Well, Betsy Babcock, CEO of Handsome Brook Farm, which specializes in pasture-raised eggs, joins us now to explain. Hi, Betsy. Hi. Great to have you here. First off, congratulations. Your company was just named one of 50 fastest growing women-led companies. So congratulations. Tell us the differences. We see all these labels. We see organic, we see free range, cage free. What does it all mean? I think one of the things that's really important is customers to understand where their chicken or where the eggs are coming from. Mm -hmm. Customers really care now about how their chickens are raised. They do, because part of it is the humane aspect. It's not Absolutely. just how the eggs taste, but it's very important how these chickens are being treated. Right, and it's very confusing. You go to the dairy case, you see cage-free, you see free-range, free-roaming, and now mm -hmm. you see pasture-raised. And the government doesn't regulate these labels, correct? No, they don't. So that makes it even trickier. We did find on the Humane Society um, website, they do have a chart which sort of yeah. explains some of the aspects of cage-free versus pasture-raised. Mm -hmm. and. Yours seems to be pasture raised, seems right. to be the most humane way. Absolutely. Of treating cage chickens. free is a step up from caged. It's better because the chickens aren't encaged, but still they're confined to 1.2 square feet of space indoors in a warehouse. And so there's no freedom really, they're just confined there. And unfortunately, free range and free roaming really aren't that much different. So pasture raised, what does that mean? Pasture raised means that the chickens are outside on pasture eating bugs, eating grass and have 108 square feet of space per chicken outdoors. And they are so happy, I'm sure, They're to have happy. all of that. How did you get involved in the chicken business? <laughs> by, uh, by coincidence, I think. We had a family flock of chickens. We have a farm in the Catskills, and we have a bed and breakfast. And our bed and breakfast guests kept raving about how delicious our eggs were. And as we started exploring how our eggs might be different from what you could get in a grocery store, we realized there was nothing in the grocery store available for consumers where the chickens were actually raised outdoors. And there is a big difference in taste, I have to yeah. tell you. I can always tell the difference. I'm curious, though, how you managed to keep your eggs more reasonably priced than other pasture-raised companies, which is personally why I buy your eggs, because yeah. price does matter to me as well, and they can get very expensive. I think what's important to us is to really maintain very good operational control control of what we do, mm -hmm. so we keep our costs down. We have a feed mill, so we're producing our own grain for our own chickens. Uh, we aren't greedy, so I think you know we're not backed by venture capital or something like that that has margin expectations. So we are really oriented towards the chicken and towards the customer and making our eggs accessible. And certainly this is the moment. So much attention is being paid on the way chickens are being treated. I mean, we've had a lot of high-profile celebrities come out for this issue. What do you think is most important about that? I think it's important um, to, make, to make sure that the chickens are treated with respect and that the chickens are treated in a way that is healthy for the chicken mm -hmm. and that they can exercise their chicken behavior. Chickens are born to scratch and be outside and be eating a high-protein diet of bugs. When you start confining them, it's not only good for them bad for them from an animal welfare perspective, but it makes a difference in the quality of the egg. Absolutely. It's a win-win for everybody. Yes, Happier absolutely. chickens make better tasting eggs. Yes, indeed. Betsy Babcock, thank you so much for being with us today.